friends today back with another tutorial you guys have been requesting this one for a while ever since you saw it in my recent music video as well as i've kind of shown parts of it in some of my recent tutorials this effect's actually pretty easy all you need to do is one quick little ultra key effect as well as transitioning and as well as quick little simple masking i'm going to show you how to put all those together anyways let's get right into this tutorial like i said this one is actually very easy so we have some so we have some clips right here and we're going to create this cool little door effect um, right where i made this transition so find a part in the video where you would like to make this door effect transition into so right about here i'm going to click Control k i'm just going to get rid of any of this space because this is where our door is going to be coming through as well as with a background we can delete that now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the door itself so this is actually a green screen clip you can find online on youtube we're going to have the download link in the description below for you guys to check out we're going to move to right where this door begins to open so right about here i'm going to click Control k just to cut that out and we're going to scrub over to right before the door starts to close. So right there. Then we're going to click Control K and then delete any excess we don't need. So we have this clip of this green screen door opening just like that. Let's get rid of this green screen as well as this logo. And then let's take out this blue screen. So to do that, let's click on these arrows right here. Let's go over to effects and then let's go over to ultra key. So search for ultra key. It's under the keying folder. Drag that onto your clip. Click on effect controls in the top left and then click on this little dropper next to key color um, in your ultra key for effect controls click on the green and simple as that gets rid of that uh, we're also going to just drag another ultra key onto here and we're going to click the dropper and then click on the blue so now we have just a door opening and then what we can do to get rid of that logo go back to our effects library look up a crop put that on our clip and just change the left value until that goes away, just like that. So now we have our door opening just like this. And if you'd like to, you can speed up the clip, you can stylize the clip however you'd like. For example, if you have your Lumetri color panel, you can make this red just by using the color wheels. Um, you can apply any effects you'd like. If you have my Color King pack, um, it's gonna give you a bunch of presets you can use. This is available on my website as well, as well as you can add any glowing, flickering effects like that. What I like to do is just create a simple little keyframe so that this starts small and then gets a little bigger. So to do that, drag to the beginning of your clip right about here we're going to go up to motion our effect controls change the scale to around uh 50 i'd say like eh, 63 sounds pretty good click this little stopwatch next to scale drag a bit like that and then just scale this up to however big you would like it and then we just created a little animation so that this just grows bigger like that it kind of just adds a little bit more of motion to the effect let's go ahead and take this door clip and place it in this little blank space right here and then we can cut it right where our transitioning clip starts and we can just get rid of any excess of that door clip that we don't need now what we can do is we're going to pick a background for this what i recommend you guys do is head over to my website link in the description you can download a bunch of these for free from my website as you see if i hover over this it all says zero dollars and i recommend you pick one from either the trippy visuals pack the vaporwave pack or the motion graphics pack those have some pretty cool ones go to wherever you downloaded it you're going to see a bunch of them right here and then we can just drag that into our project bin as you see i've already got it we're going to put that right underneath our green screen door clip i'm going to right click this and then scale this to frame size click this box next to motion and then just make that the size of the screen and then we're going to hold down the alt key and then just drag that a few times out to duplicate it you can select all those and then nest them together and now we have one long loopable clip of this cool motion graphic trippy stuff going in the background you can customize that however you like We've got this cool clip of the door coming in and the only thing we need to do now is get our clip masked behind this door as well as apply the zoom transition so i want to create a space between these two layers so let's take the door just drag it up and then let's just take our clip that we want to transition into drag that up as well drag the duration so that it's underneath the door and then you can go ahead and just cut that and you can even bring that back down if you like. So what we have here is we have a stack of layers where we have the door on top and then we have the footage we're going to transition into and then we have the background. So now we need to crop this footage so that it's only the size of the door. So to do that, go over to our effect library, look up crop, drag that onto our middle clip and then just make this little square four point polygon mask. And we can just align that to be the size of the door just like this okay so let's click inverted and then make left 100 and then as you see if i had this layer we cropped out everything that wasn't in that box that we just created now what we can do is just drag a little bit and we're going to adjust this crop so that it grows with the door so let's go back to the beginning 
let's go ahead and click mask path this little animation next to it at the beginning of our clip drag to the end of our clip and then let's just drag these corners to actually be the new size of the door since we keyframed that before to make that grow so here's what we got um, it grows, starts small, gets a little bit bigger, just like that. So now the only thing left we need to do is just create that zoom transition. So you guys can use any zoom transition that you would like, any free one, any paid one. Um, in the original clip I showed you, I think I used an After Effects preset zoom. This time I'm going to show you some from my actual transition pack, which is on my website for only $14.99. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead to my effects library. I'm going to search up transition. And then right here you see Max Novak transition pack one. I'm going to post a 10% discount code in the comments down below pin that to this video if you guys want to use that to be able to purchase this but if not that's fine you can use any transition you like so what i'm going to do is just go to the beginning of this i'm going to click shift to the right click Control k i'm going to click shift to the left and then shift to the left again click Control k and what i'm also going to do is actually nest in that door as well so that door is part of the transition so select these two right here nest those together and then we can nest all this together. So what we got is one long clip between our transition right here. And then all we need to do is just drag and drop a zoom effect onto there. So let's go ahead and apply some cool stuff. Maybe there's upside down ripple like that. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the basic ripple zoom. That one looked pretty cool. So that's what we got. Um, that's what it looks like in slow motion. You can see the kind of just warping of it, the distortion. Just to add on to that zoom effect, we can even add a little sound effect. So that's what we have right there. Looks pretty cool. And then let's go ahead and do that to the end as well. So let's go to the end of these where we have another transition. Shift to the left, click Control K. Um, and then we can also Control K all of these because we want them all to be in the transition. Shift to the right, Shift to the right, Control K. Nest all of these together just like this. And then we're going to apply the same zoom effect on right here. So let's apply that ripple zoom on there. Play that out. And as you see, it zooms in just like that through the doorway. Looks really cool and into our next clip. If you guys would want to, depending on how you nest this, um, you don't have to nest all these together. If you want only the um, footage and the door to zoom in, but this to stay the same, you can nest only the door clip and the actual normal footage together like this. And then you can use that for the transition. Let's go ahead and add that ripple zoom. And that looks pretty cool because only the um, door and the person is actually affected. This stays the same. So however you want to nest the clips together, however you want to apply that zoom, it's going to be different every time. I think this actually looks pretty cool. So here's how we create those effects. Looks really, really cool. Kind of adds more motion into our video. And it's just something that's really cool that you can experiment with. You can change it however you like. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please leave a like on it. It helps the growth of this channel a lot. If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Join the community for regular content like this, as well as a bunch of free resources. Anyways, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.